Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about scalar variables and uh, in Perl scalar variables are simply referred to as scalars and uh, a scalar is uh, nothing but a single unit of data, right? So uh, if it is a number then it is a number, if it's a string it's a string, if it's just one character then it's one character. It's different from the other kinds of variables that you can have in Perl like arrays and hashes and uh, the difference is going to be clearer when we get to tutorials on arrays and hashes, right? So for the time being uh, just know that a scalar variable can uh, hold uh, numeric values, it can hold uh, string values, it can hold float values as well as integer values when I talk about numbers and uh, it can also have uh, octal and hexadecimal uh, values. So for this tutorial we have a script called scalars and uh, in this script on line number one we have the shebang line and let me just talk a little about this line and you know the reason why I have it uh, in almost all uh, my scripts is because I run my Perl code on uh, Linux a lot right so uh, although I'm uh, demonstrating these tutorials to you on Windows and uh, you don't really need to put uh, this line in your scripts uh, the reason why people who program uh, Perl code on uh, Unix or Linux systems uh, have the shebang line in their code is that it offers a lot of convenience while running so if you have this line if this is the first line in your script then you could just type the name of your script in the terminal and the code would run you don't have to specify uh, the the name of the interpreter which is Perl so you know it saves a little bit of effort you don't have to type the name of uh, the command every time just type the name of the script and it will run and um, this actually is uh, the location of the Perl interpreter in the Unix file system. So within the user folder, there's a folder called bin which has all the binaries and in that folder you will find the interpreter for Perl and as I mentioned on most Linux or Unix distributions Perl is uh, pre-installed. So anyway let's get back to our discussion on scalars. On line number three in the script you can see that I've created a scalar variable called rank and in Perl you create variables using the dollar symbol and you assign values using the equal to symbol or the assignment operator. I've given this variable the value one on line number four I have created another variable called name and this one has a string value Novak and uh, of course you can create string variables using single quotes as well as double quotes but if you want escape sequences to be bundled along with your uh, string text then make sure that you create your variables using double quotes on line number five I have created a variable called TOT underscore money short form for total money and uh, this one is a float value because we have a decimal point in this number and we have uh, you know uh, some digits after the decimal point as well. On line number six we have created uh, uh, an octal variable and in Perl you create an octal variable by placing a zero at the beginning of your uh, numeric value so you know this is actually an octal code 167 you can uh, see that all three digits in the code are less than eight and that's how you figure out whether it's an octal the number or not but of course uh, the uh, main thing that distinguishes an octal uh, number from a regular number in Perl is that octal numbers are preceded uh, with a zero right uh, on line number seven I have created a hexadecimal uh, scalar variable called my underscore hex and you create a hexadecimal number uh, by using a zero as well as the alphabet X in lowercase uh, and then you can follow this combination with your code and uh, in our case the code is ABE and uh, then I have printed these uh, variables not in the sequence in which I have created because I'm printing name before printing rank I have a, a new line escape sequence at the end of each string of text and by now I'm pretty sure this is like piece of cake for you guys so I'll just run the script and show you the output yeah so we see the name displayed first which is Novak and then rank has the value 1 and then total prize money is this uh, floating value and then uh, this code uh, 167 in octal 
translates to 119 in decimal right and uh, then this code ABE in hexadecimal format translates to 2750 in decimal format so that's it about scalar variables in the next tutorial we're going to check out uh, you know more pearl features and I hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next one till then take care